Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Trends 360 studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. We're going to do a quick update on Florence and talk about the next two weeks ahead here. Um, looking real quick at some of these rainfall totals, pretty epic. We did shatter the record. Uh, again, we talked about that happening and it certainly happened. Floyd was the record at about 24.06 inches for the state of North Carolina. And we've got at least six or seven locations that had 20 to 35 inches in this, you know, kind of this shaded area here of Eastern North Carolina. So certainly uh, a lot of cities, uh, again, shattered that with uh, pretty epic flooding and even six, 10 plus inches up as we go toward Raleigh. Uh, looking at some of these river flood stages, again, we, we broke the record here in terms of rainfall. Uh, over a half dozen cities uh, bro broke that Floyd record from 1999. So, I think 34 inches is about the tops right now. We're still adding a little bit to that. In terms of peak wind gusts with Hurricane Floyd, we had some 112 mile an hour wind gust um, just offshore at Cape Lookout and uh, even Wilmington, 105 miles per hour. So pretty catastrophic. Again, people diminished the fact this was a cat one at landfall. If you are in the right front quadrant of a slow moving hurricane, it's devastating as we're experiencing. So never look at the category of a, a storm to, to determine whether or not you're gonna evacuate. So sadly, a lot of folks have uh, have died uh, as a result of this system. So uh, God bless you folks down in North Carolina. It'll be months and months of recovery, um, unfortunately. Uh, jumping ahead here, again, these river stages, uh, we've got all these purples are at flood stage. So 17 gauges at major flooding, record shattering flooding in the purples. Uh, the reds, we got 11 gauges at moderate uh, flooding. So again, a lot of folks are flooding and look at these crests here. Again, this was a Floyd chart. So we, we broke the Floyd record in 99 and the Matthew record in 2016. And this river gauge, unfortunately, this one shows a 24 foot river, major catastrophic flooding for the whole entire week. Now, most rivers will peak within a, week, a day or two here now, uh, and then diminish as we go through the, through the period. But this one, whether it's accurate or not, is showing a week of major catastrophic flooding. So a lot of pain down there for the folks in North Carolina. And so, uh, you know, God bless you folks. Uh, looking at the remnants of uh, Hurricane Florence, again, she's been tracking this way and now she's going to come up the Appalachians and actually come up very close to um, here at WT360's headquarters in Bethlehem. But uh, at this point, you know, a couple, one, two, three, four inches as she heads toward the northeast and begins to exit. Some of the European models, some of the crazy models actually show this thing regenerating off the coast and heading out to the Atlantic. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, looking at the week ahead here for weeks 17 through 23 September, uh, we see a really cold air in Canada. Still pretty warm here in the States. And again, this moisture feed going all the way into Europe. Um, overall, we'd say the US is the coldest in four years, still well above average for the nation as a whole, six warmest in 30 years. Uh, rainfall's pretty much near, nearing the top of the charts here, second wettest in 30 plus years, wettest in 15 years. Uh, jumping ahead to next week, we see the cooler trends start to invade the US. Again, overall, the US will be the coolest in 15 years for this last week of September. So a little bit of a cold snap coming down. It may be kind of short lived, but uh, also see the big changes from going very, very hot in Europe to uh, quite cold. Unfortunately, we still keep this wet weather pattern here in the States. Uh, number one wettest in 30 years with this, again, just kind of this tropical conveyor belt of moisture through the Midwest, Ohio Valley, uh, East Coast. So again, uh, lots more flooding potential here in the weeks ahead. Uh, looking at the animated temperature maps here over the next 14 days, you can see these two cold fronts. The first one coming through here this weekend. Looks like Sunday gets to the east, then it warms up again ahead of another stronger cold front. So a couple shots of cold weather moving into the U.S. Um, looking at the precip front, um, got to be a little concerned here with this system, you know, coming off Africa and going into the Caribbean Gulf. So again, the, the tropics have quieted down here after Florence, uh, but we think that they're probably going to heat up again here in late September for sure going back to October. So we're already at about 10 named storms. Very likely we're gonna head above average here uh, with the, uh, toward the end of the season. Uh, looking at the temperature trends, this is going back into mid-August through uh, actually through early October. And we see that the national temperature trends, uh, reds are above average, blues below average. And so we've had a couple cold snaps back in August, one um, before Florence impacted the weather pattern here, below average temperatures. And then we've peaked here with a kind of a warmer tropical surge. Uh, but we show a general cooling trend here as we go through the next couple weeks. So probably peak nationally in terms of temperature. Uh, we're losing about three minutes of daylight per day. Uh, so we see that cooling trend. And then we get out here toward late September. We actually have most of the country trending below average. So some of those cold fronts starting to reflect it here in the national trends. Um, had the, the little one out this past weekend. Um, show the video here. Um, actually falls only five days away. So if you're counting, counting down the last few days of summer, it's a uh, 22 September at 9.54 is the official start of fall. Took the little one out uh, in the car and she just loves weather. She's uh, definitely a weather girl, storm chaser in the making. Uh, so windy, stormy, you know, this is her thing. So again, future uh, weather trends employee here, Angelina Kirk. So 
With that, folks, uh, God bless everybody in North Carolina. Have a great week, and uh, please be safe, and we'll be back here uh, next week.